Okay, what to do here? Queen is hanging. So yeah, I think this is like the lowest score ever. Yeah, this is really, uh, really tough week. Um, Queen g5, yes. This might be the only one that I actually solved. <laughs> A good start at least. And it's made. Yeah, this is quite nice. Okay. So, yeah. Ways to go wrong here. Yeah, this is not, not really damaging black. Good evening. Welcome. Yeah, it looks like uh, this was not very effective. Maybe the game, maybe the game, because it's a very long line and it's a wrong line. So uh, King F8 seemed better, maybe, but Knight F6 looks pretty good, yes. No threats. This puzzle came in a previous killer homework. Uh, okay, maybe either I forgot or it's one that I skipped. Um, I didn't start with the killer homework for the beginning, so. Uh, okay, I think this is position number one. This is all we needed to see. Let's see if there are any special points. Um, yeah, knight f6 was the game, yes? And... Uh, Okay, zero one here. Time, I don't know. Maybe time, yes. Uh, or maybe he just felt like, okay, it's, it's enough. Maybe some time trouble and here it's over and just slow down and okay. This is it. Um, yeah. Yeah, this was, a, this was a trap. I almost felt for this one that here Rook F8 works. Uh, it feels like this is winning, but uh, Rook F8 can't play suddenly, and this is not clear at all. F2 is under attack. So, lots of tricks. I mean, this uh, Jakob guy is pretending to be our friend, but he's also making so many tricks to, to make us desperate. So, uh, dangerous guy. Ne never trust him, you know? So, yeah. Even for the probably easiest of the week, there was a very nasty trap. So, yeah, Pierre, what to do here? Uh, by the way, I'm solving next week, and there is a position where I have absolutely no clue what to do for move one, you know. Uh, there was one here, too, where I just wrote, I think I'm losing, but I put a guess, and Jakob just replied to me, then you shouldn't lose. Uh, I have no idea what it means. So... Okay, so play knight f5. All right, check. And this. Yeah, I saw this. I didn't realize this was working. Uh, okay, here just go g3. Okay, enough counterplay. Uh huh. Okay, king g8 is not so fantastic. Yeah, this is even h4 compensation. Why? Or, yeah, just a draw, maybe. H4. Whoa. Okay. One must say it's good compensation. Yeah, you need to realize whether it's actually good compensation or not. Uh, apparently, it is. Um, wow. I didn't really believe it. I thought, okay, I mean, something, but not uh, not really good enough. So, all right. Not so easy, I guess. So, what about rook b7? This is an extra piece, yeah? No special, no special tricks. No counterplay. Okay. I assume some of us gave rook b7. Rook c2. Whoa. Yeah, this is just material. This is just material. 
Uh, I also lost material, but uh, not as much. Yeah, this is also just material. Uh, I gave this. Because I thought I recovered something at least. Uh, Miss King E7, yeah, this is actually, yeah, this is actually really bad. So this is also simply material. Yeah, 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 no, this is just, uh, the knight is trapped. So, game over. Um, yeah, okay. All right, so maybe also elimination could have helped. If you realize that everything else is just losing material, you lose material in the most effective way. So, okay, in the end of the day, maybe not that hard. If if everything else is calculating correctly, is calculated correctly, you realize that you don't have that many moves not to lose material. So that could be a way to do it. Ah, this was the game. And any a draw. Ah, some rapid. Okay. Interesting position. Next. Yeah. <laughs> this was tricky. Uh, it feels like black is totally lost, but it's not easy to get to the king. Uh, so rook g5. Okay, clearing the square for queen g6. And uh, okay, here we go for this. The threat should be queen g6 and rook h6 mate. And not enough countable. Huh? Okay, I didn't realize. So king rook g8. You switch once again. What's the threat exactly? It's rook h6, yeah? And pick up the queen on f4. And also lots of mating ideas. Okay, so this one works. Mm, oh, actually, rook h6 and queen g8 is made. So, so what to do? Okay. This is if nothing happens, that this is the plan. And again, book H6. Mate. Okay. I missed it. Okay. But very nice coordination. Uh, yeah, this looks natural, but it doesn't really work. This time we're kind of stuck. Whoa. Maybe it works. Maybe this is a second solution. Looks winning. Should be winning. Not immediately, but looks like a very, very big advantage. Not as clear for sure. So, wow. Yeah, this it looks like this might be the game. A worse version of the other idea. Your black hats. Gets to start with checks. So should be at least a draw. Oh, 96 stops the pawn actually. So this is just over. Ah, you didn't give, you're just coming to see us suffering over the solutions. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, the positions are fun. Uh, you know, even if you don't submit, you always get one more opportunity if you want to go to chess tempo and solve it a little later. Uh, yeah, none of this is very clear. I can't even remember what I gave, actually. Uh, this is a terrible mistake. Oh, yeah, this is what I missed. Knight c4. Is, yeah, this is good enough. I only saw f4 and I was winning. Um, so, yeah, and this doesn't trap the queen, so pointless. Yeah, somehow we need to, to believe in our attack. Rook 6, g5. To, to bring queen g6 and rook h3. Nice coordination. Actually, kind of logical once you once you see it, I guess. Um, just important not to be distracted by other moves. 
Yep, looks like uh, everything is is okay. So what was the game? The key difficulty is finding the first move, yes. And uh, not only in finding the good move, but in actually believing that the first move is the correct one when you can get confused by other good options. Um, I don't see what the game... Ah, the game is here. <laughs> I had my pointer on the score. So he used the wrong rook, yeah? Yeah, as, as predicted, okay. So this was only only compensation. It's not good enough for advantage. Some initiative, but I guess black is enough counter with the able. Okay, looks scary. Always hard to say. Okay. So let's go to the next. Yeah, this is the one where I gave a solution that ended in resigning, basically. Because uh, I don't know what this position is. Looks completely ridiculous to me. I have no idea how not to get mated immediately. So, knight c4. Okay. What is was losing on the spot? What is this? Ah, it's not actually mate. Okay, cannot remember why, but I thought it was just check, check, and mate. I'm disappointed now. Of course, there must be a solution. <laughs> um, hold on, this looks like a mate in one on the board. Ah, King H2. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Um, otherwise, what is this? Also not really made. Okay. Nice. Everything looks like made, but it's not quite. Uh, so you have time to play bishop e3. Okay, this was not uh, that terribly hard. I think I somehow missed a square for my king, maybe. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, queen h6, okay, this is the main try, apparently, and here you've got to find some extra stuff, of course. Beautiful double pin. Really beautiful. So, queen b6 also doesn't work. Some adventures. King h1 at hf2. Knight e3. That's a check. So take. Wow. All the knights jumping around. Beautiful. Okay, we're into suicide mode already. Mate. Wow. But the extra important key point is that here after queen h6, knight d6, deflection. Nice. Queen d6, yeah, because otherwise some queen f7, I guess. Also knight c8, maybe. Taking a lot of stuff before getting mated. On king e7, what is the exact reason? Pick up some stuff, but we need to find out exactly how to save our king. I think queen f7 works. King d6 and and what? Still not finished. Yeah, knight c8, bishop c8. We're still under heavy attack. I mean, it should be... 
to be fine. Maybe we just take on f2. Queen take b6 hangs the queen. Or or you can take on, on b6 immediately, yes? Okay, I'm going to ask the machine just to, to be sure. Uh, okay, king e7. Yeah, queen b6 doesn't work. This one is stronger. Same line, basically, yeah? We are still, still in trouble. It's exactly the same. We've just seen this idea. So the threat still works. Yeah, queen f7, king d6 also. So knight c8, bishop c8, queen b4, all the moves, and queen b5, all the moves. Okay. And there's no escape, yeah? This is a nice line to, to add to the solution, I think. So I think everybody gets zero for, for this one, for missing this line. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, to have this in an in an actual game, I think you you get uh, you get to retire very young. <laughs> We there are players who actually play positions like this all the time uh, on the board. It's uh, extremely stressful to me. Um, I haven't done it too many times. It's it's really tough. I mean, every move you can be winning, losing. Who knows? A lot of calculation, a lot of big effort. This is really fantastic. So knight d6. So queen d6 is most critical, of course. Uh, at the very least, knight d6 was useful for sure for white. And rook f2 now. Yes, we have to get rid of this. And yeah, this helps queen g6. Still heavy attack. Queen. Wow. And this is only a draw. Okay, guys, if everybody, if somebody solved all of this, uh, you're way too strong for me. I hope I never meet you in a tournament because this is this is really hard. <laughs> uh, I don't think that it was the goal to see everything. I assume that if you find that knight c4, it's at least not losing and the knight d6 idea, you should get some decent uh, score. I think uh, finding every single detail in this position seems crazy yeah actually yes after a moment of checking all of these i got so confused that i thought uh, knight c4 i was getting mated by check 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 which is false i guess uh, there's no such thing but uh, yeah this was really confusing uh you like queen six because you thought 96 was too easy that's also mistake in calculation because it's definitely not easy Especially if you ask yourself this king e7 question, I think it's enough to confuse anybody. So I'm not making excuses for, for my own mistakes. I, I'm i not even sure what I wrote in, in the end. It was some desperate attempt where I thought, okay, I'm, I'm losing, I know, but <laughs> I don't have anything better. So... Uh, all right. So, yeah, let's see the moves that lose, maybe. So, this is mate immediately. So, density losing. And rook f2 here. Yeah, we lost the queen. I don't think it makes too much sense to, to hang our queens in the, in the solution. <laughs> Okay, so it's mate on h1, basically. We can stop here and say we, we resign in a dignified way with white. So, yeah, all right. So what was the game? Little satisfaction for us. Okay, he just played queen and he lost. Fair enough. Probably resigned here. Yeah, everything is so... So confusing. Um, all right.
believe we saw everything. It's amazing. This is not. Yeah, this is fine. Fantastic. All right, back to back to the chess. Um, hold on a moment. I added this king e7 line. Yeah, sorry, just a little editing here. I think it's worth having this extra little move in the solution in chess tempo. Okay. Right, so we've got two bishops here and the pawn on e6. But some practical problems. So e7. And uh, okay, here we keep the extra material. So here we take the rook. So far, so good. Bishop f7. And what to do now? Here starts the magic. So bishop e6. So black is losing the knight, basically, or, or a pawn in the game. Okay. I didn't understand anything really from this position. This is a problem. Okay. Uh huh. So this is not really good enough. So bishop e6 was, I guess, needed. Rook c2 instead, here, here. This might be another solution. If we have some enough initiative here, maybe not. Looks like a massive advantage, but I'm not sure that this is winning or not. So bishop e6 was important tactics to yeah, destroy Black's coordination and get this rook b3. Okay, this was nice. Needed to be more accurate. Many lost like we did. How did we did lose? Like this. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Fair, fair enough. I I fell for the trap one move later. I put e7, I believe, and then still got lazy on the next move. I just wrote king d2 and I'm happy, or king d3. I skipped the puzzle. Wonderful. Um, let's go back. Yes, I skipped the puzzle. Thank you. So, queen take d5. Wow. This looked really soft. What's the hidden point? Ah, uh, maybe the pawn on a5? On b6, the bishop is trapped. So c7 is under attack. Wow. Okay, b4, b6 is a bit silly. No, I appreciate taking corner pawns. I would have also taken it if I noticed that it was hanging. <laughs> Just uh, nice. Yeah, it's easy to get distracted by other targets. I didn't even have it in my radar as well, uh, at all. You know, just wow. Take the pawn. It's a pawn for free. Nice. Well done. So moves that don't work. Queen d1. Yeah, doesn't make any sense. Uh, this one, I thought it was great, but f5, concrete. Yeah, not, not too clear. Uh, I missed f5. So, queen g3. I thought here bishop d7 was fine, but queen h5. Yeah, some initiative, but apparently not really good enough. And here there's bishop f5 just in time, yes, no rook h4. Okay. So this was about, you know, targets. Noticing the pawn on a5, I think. No, not so easy. 
Yeah, this looked great, but Bishop D7, black is in control. Oopsie. We lost. We lost everything, basically. <laughs> this is really bad. Um, makes sense, but doesn't really work. Queen F4, just Queen H5. Yeah, black is very solid. In such positions, we always need to, to get to a target. This is the the biggest issue for white in positions like this where he's a little more active. Um, we can go to the next, I guess, just checking what happened in the game. Hope he failed. Uh, yeah, he did. I mean, it's not easy to, to spot everything. When you have so many natural moves that seem to make a lot of sense, going for the pawn on a5, if you see it, you do it, I guess, but easy to miss. Yeah. Uh, nothing personal on the player with white. Just, I don't see the names actually. They're hidden for me. So never anything personal on the players. Just, <laughs> just mention it in, in case anybody wonders. So, okay. Black to play here. We've got to attack the center. You thought mixed sheet was really easy. Good for you. Um, so d take e4, sure, and uh, bishop c4, I put this, and put that this was not really worth the effort, so this is what I missed, knight b4 is really strong, for what reason that, ah, white doesn't actually have squares for the rook on e1, so e4 is actually lost, ah, oh, this is very nasty. Jumping around and too many weaknesses in white's position. So e4 is actually lost. Nice. Okay. Very beautiful point is knight b4. Ah, always a trick. Always a trick somewhere. So, yeah. Nice move. Because it looks like, you know, knight e5, you're hitting e4, you're hitting f4, and then you knight b4 doesn't seem to make too much sense. But it works very well tactically. So nice move. If you found it, congratulations. Brilliant, brilliant chess. What else? Uh, yeah, this is not very convincing. White is solid enough in the center, generally speaking. So we really need a bit of a bit of tactics to to make our strategic point. Next position is the easiest, maybe. Um, yeah, this was also about half had this. Okay. Um, probably the game. I guess he, I guess he found it. Yes. Also, there are some mistakes later. Let's see the game until the end, just for fun. Nice. Boom. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Next. Next is the easiest. Of course, I missed it. Um, can we play queen takes c4? Here, you mean? Oh, not, not here. Here, this is already played. What else can we play queen c4? Ah, queen takes e4. Oh. Where? No, I don't think that we ever could take on e4. At the starting after d take e4. Ah, yeah, okay. It's just strategically very bad. I'm not sure that we need anything special against queen take e4. But uh, yeah, it's a technically playable, I guess. Just much worse. I don't know if there is anything super concrete. I mean, black is just better after bishop d5 or knight d5, maybe more appropriate. Maybe knight d5. Let, let me check with the machine just to 
to see if there is any special points, but I think Black is just happy. So knight f5 is actually the best way to, and only way to have a real advantage. I thought it was really fantastic. Uh, maybe because knight c5 is also coming. Okay, good question, good question. So knight f5 is apparently the best. Uh-huh, and bishop d7, bishop c6. Okay, thank you for asking. This is a little extra point which I'm going to save. So what to do here? We've got a few candidate moves. I apparently missed the candidate move. Uh, so bishop c6 is correct, protecting the pawn. Okay, so this way we don't have to give up a bishop and we don't have to push on b4 too early. And this is just advantage. Um, and that's it. No details, just bishop c6 advantage. Okay. Uh, yeah, seems like a interesting move. If you see it, it makes sense. I didn't consider it at all. I gave this and I thought I'm satisfied. Uh, yeah, I guess black is somewhat better, but reasonable. Yeah, this is not so good. We should realize that pushing too early is a problem. And also we don't want to play c6, or not even on the list, because white gets compensation. And okay, we don't want to give up the material. So this could be logical. Mm -hmm. Lots of play. Yeah, this is not not an advantage for black. All right, all right. So yeah, this was not too hard, I guess. If you if you spot bishop c six, what was the game? What was the game? Drum roll. He took, of course, and he played c six like any normal person would. <laughs> Ended in a draw eventually. Yeah, it's pleasant for black, but quite a bit of compensation. Yeah, the options. Seeing the options and calculating deep. The two the two difficult things in chess. Um, all right. Yeah. Here I saw the option, but I didn't calculate very deep. And of course, I missed something very important. <laughs> just to stress that you know you focus on one thing or the other and you always pick the wrong tool this is true forever so um before wow yeah i was quite confident on this one uh, because i was wrong so it's easy to be confident when you're wrong so okay Black has weaknesses. So it's a temporary sacrifice, and now we we get back the material. Okay. Um, no, I was confident that it's correct because uh, you know you feel confident when you miss the opponent's ideas. So uh 93, yes. Actually, I thought 97 was the, the problem here, uh, exactly. But let's see what uh, what is written in the solution first, and then we'll discuss everything else. Okay, this works. D5, rook D8 coming. Okay, and B5 is also a threat. So, yeah, I felt like it's creating so many weaknesses, but since it's the solution, I guess there is something. I didn't spend much time on B4. I thought it was just a ridiculous move. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, okay. Uh, so let's ask the machine, because it's not in the solution. Why is 97 not so great? Okay, knight B1. Um, so white managed to fight the knight and push it back. And apparently this was the key the key factor in this position. Then, okay, some knight a3 and some pressure. 
yeah, it felt like we're creating so many weaknesses. Before is the typical mistake in these Sicilians that you should never play. Uh, sure, we can check knight d3. You want to check, I mean, with the machine, but I trust Jakob did a fine job. And knight b5, yes, knight d4. This is the main move, yeah. Yeah, the pawn on a4 will be lost. Yeah, I think this was very hard. Very, very hard. Yeah. It's uh, going completely against my intuition, at least. Because before makes sense, tactically. Sure, the knight on c5 is very annoying, but yeah, I really thought, okay, just 97, and what is my progress? Um, so this was my solution. Thought I was very smart. But this is nothing, huh? Yeah, for some reason I thought I had some Queen D8 nasty surprises for black. Yeah, it's not so clear. Okay. Um, okay. So what else? Okay, this was an attempt. Not, not really breaking black's position, unfortunately. And uh, queen f2, queen c6. Yeah, I guess no special points. Yeah, black has some counterplay. Rook c1 smart, preparing for the opening of the c file, but not really enough. Black can always regroup bishop f8 to c5, so the bishop is not horrible forever. Yeah, not much else to see. Notation, let's see what was the game. I'm not sure why this was so difficult for many. Okay, the game was also bishop c4. Okay, Prague also played this bishop c4 natural move and won the game. Because black didn't spot the way to equalize. Uh, I don't know. I think it's uh, it's not easy to just weaken your knight c3 like this and play knight b1. Yeah, this is actually Jakob's annotation. I think uh, this is the answer. I mean, for, for me, this is not so easy <laughs> to play knight b1 back here. This is, I mean, okay. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Uh, we should. I will probably make a screenshot for him and give him the answer. You know, <laughs> uh, it feels like this is the reason why this was difficult for many. This is uh, not not easy. Uh, if you're under twenty seven hundred, I think this is not easy. So, yeah, chess is always easier when you know the solution. So, okay. Yeah, I'm going to add that to, to the solution. Uh, yeah, Prague was over 27 and still didn't, didn't play. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, chess is hard. You know, this decision was not, uh, not, not even close. So it might be Prag weak, yes. So I got the wrong square for my bishop. Uh, bishop d4 works and bishop f6 works. I thought this was way too direct. Yeah, I mean, this is clear advantage, but I wanted more. Okay, this is winning and rook c6 is also winning. Okay, it's opposite color bishops with a massive initiative. I also gave the terrible bishop e5. And the horrible thing is that in a game, we might have played bishop f6, you know, because we're not told that we need to overdo things. Because <laughs> this is a very nice advantage. So I thought, uh, you know, let's go get more. And apparently I got less. So bishop e5, this is the key defense. Yeah, like he's getting some play. Yeah, or we get a worse version of the other line. Yeah, this rook d8 was, was important. 
So bishop d4 works. Yeah, we still get initiative. Yeah, this is more or less what I wanted to do, to keep the two bishops and try for more advantage than the main line. So this was the way to execute the idea. Uh, okay, what is this? I actually thought the Druke fate was also fine here. Okay, this feels like a lot of trouble. Maybe not so much. Scary stuff, really scary. Um, okay. Okay. So we go for the opposite color position like this. Nice. Actually kind of simple if you're not distracted by other things. They, they can evaluate the final position. Yeah. Um, I thought it was like very, very big advantage, but I also thought it made this cannot be. <laughs> I, I need to look for more. Um, so also in the game, he went for more, yeah? And still won the game eventually. But yeah, after rook d8, things are obviously not so clear. This rook d8 is a very important resource. Yeah, it feels like you you may you may want more. So Prague is also not scoring very high. Yes, we're going through all of his mistakes. So okay, what to do here? I messed up again. I played f3, which allows queen a4. So, of course, to prevent counter play, we use the king. Beautiful, beautiful move. I have no idea about anything. Uh, okay, so rook a8, rook b7. Okay, looks nice. Okay, fantastic rook. Uh, Rook b2 works. Yeah, but this is not very logical. Black is activating the rook at least. Is this not a draw? Yeah, you want to... Nice comment here. Uh, you want to defend the e4 pawn in the least weakening way, yes. I didn't understand why this is countably. Ah, because there's no direct... Uh, Mate, and yeah, queen c2 and queen f2. Okay, I I see now. So here on queen a4, you maybe go check, and that king g2 is going to be safe again. So nice. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, got it. All right. So on king g7, h4. Yeah, I just make progress. Nice. Did he did he do it? Did he do it? Ah, this is Fabiano. No, he played e5. Yeah, I thought about it, but uh, yeah, queen a8. Raiding queens. Draw, yes? Hmm. What a position. King f3. Fantastic. It's uh, it's normal to feel that uh, those that you didn't solve correctly are easy because after you see the solution, everything is easy. So yeah, and sometimes it's just a matter of you know getting the right idea, considering the correct idea, or realizing that the move is is correct. Uh, myself, I saw King F3. I just didn't realize that it was a good move. It was one of those candidates that you see that they exist, but you don't pay too much attention because you don't understand why. <laughs> why should I play King F3 when I have F3? So that was, uh, that was. I mean, it's simple, but it's not easy to to assess correctly and to to understand. There's a difference between seeing, you know, in a general way and actually making the move on the board. So... Oh, you played him on Monday and fell for a trick. Uh, he's dangerous. 
<laughs> it's nice to play with him. Uh, so black to play here. Apparently, I missed everything on this one too. So I guess it's about taking on d4. I thought the move was just ridiculous. I didn't pay too much attention to this. I thought, yeah, well, what's going on? Okay, this is good. Okay, this is a lot of play, but bishop a6. Why is this a uh, good advice for black? Oh. Okay. Activating everything. Oh, no, your 1g5 was not aggressive enough. This is uh, very aggressive and winning. Okay, I'm sure that uh, this was not played in the game. So uh, at least we get some. Okay, e5 here. Beautiful move. Beautiful move. Uh, this was not. Uh, I wasn't really. <laughs> no, not even close. Not even close on this one. Uh, but okay, it's my own, my own mistake. I thought I was just going to have a pretty reasonable position, and I was happy with it. Uh, no idea that we could go for more. Yeah, this is. I mean, strategically, this is bad. This whole idea to take on d4 and allow all of this is strategically very poor. Uh, but of course, the chess is concrete and dynamics is really important. So if this movie 5 works, as it does, then this is what justifies the, the whole thing. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense to be, to be aggressive. So you need to be aggressive and right and mate the opponent. So otherwise, it's better to just play positional chess. Yeah, also queen d4 here. Yeah, this is not this is not what you want. This is just better for white. So got here a minute late. Can I see the stats real quick and see the average? You can actually find it on Twitter also, but I'm going to put it up at the end of the class. Uh, average rating was about 2450. So. And average score was maybe four. Um, okay, so what's this? Some positional solution. Just a little worse. I just put 95. That's uh, whatever. Yeah, I put a5. I thought I was really smart. And uh, Jakob just quite is better. Didn't look so clear to me. I thought this was reasonable for black. Would have expected to be equal, but I guess he's right. So, yeah. Okay, this is uh, some kind of positional nonsense. Also, it's not enough counterplay, so not really worth the effort. Okay, so very concrete chess. Knight d4 and e5. Very nice point. g5 and everything. Yeah, really like the solution. Because the king side gets weakened when the bishop is on a6. Hard, hard to play chess like this. Did he actually play it? Ah, no, here it is. Ah, he played g5. Wow. And he went for this. Ooh. Okay, apparently equal. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Feels better for white, but I I guess I'm wrong again. I said white was better earlier, but stand corrected, it's equal. Uh, you do not need to see this to play like this. You kind of do, I think. Uh, you, you need to see e5 at least. Yes, you don't need to see knight g4, but you need to see that, that it works and that you're pushing back black, you're pushing white backward. So, yeah. Well, not to. 
it's a tough week, so maybe I should be more generous. But you know, to make the same mistakes as the top players is not great satisfaction. We should make the good moves like the top players because uh, they're not top because of their mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> so they make mistakes exactly like us. Uh, the difference are the good moves. So, so this is all. Let's uh, see again the statistics. Uh, yeah, of course, I'm, I'm just joking, you know, everything's uh, chat is free to, to speak. <laughs> <laughs> so this was, this was it for 37, the average score. So I think next week it's going to be easier. They feel a little bit easier. I'm totally stuck on one position that I have no idea what it is. So good luck, everybody. Talk to you next week. Thank you, of course, to keeping company here. Yeah, see you. Bye-bye.